What's up guys? This is um, Dryers Island, a small town where my sim Aaliyah Keepton moved in order to strike it on her own and be wealthy. And that's her lifetime wish to make 50,000 simoleons. So she's here and she's trying to hide a part of herself she doesn't want her friends and her family to know of. So she moved somewhere, got some new roommates, it's getting to know them, and is living in a small studio building trying to work her way up. Her roommate is Diana Yoon, who's like has a K-pop style and is always kind of smelly, but she, she's pretty cool. So we're still new to things and we're a terrible cook, but you know, she's getting up there. She's got those burnt waffles, like the website, and um, she's level one in the journalism career. She's stuck at the bottom. So we're getting all the writing and charisma we can. And even one of our um, housemates, Jesus Moya, works in the same office, he's in the business career. And he seems like the kind of motivated, down to earth and successful type of dude Ali would be into, but you know, he has his own love interest, so we'll see how that goes. Our other roommate, Diana, spends her time working at the theater trying to become an up and coming actress. It takes a lot of work, but you know, like we root for her. And when we're not working, we spend our time at the bar, hitting it up, you know, hanging out with the folks and eating some better food than we got at home because we can't cook shit. And, you know, social network and texting. Aaliyah wants to start her own blog and maybe get some money on the side with that. And so when we're not at bars or at work, the rest of the time we probably spend doing what we're not supposed to be doing, hanging out at clubs, getting drunk and wasted. Which is what you kind of do in that in your 20s anyway. But you know, hangovers and being low cooking skill really don't mix. So when we tried our hand at making another breakfast, we kind of really messed it up and had a pretty bad fire, which ruined some of our houses. So we had to like get the fire extinguisher, save what we could and call the firefighter and then the repairman to fix it up. I mean, we got a cool Afro looking dude who fixed even our stereo and everything like that, which is nice by him in our shower. But still, that cost a lot of money and Aliyah doesn't have a lot anyway, so we're pretty much broke. And now we're in like dire straits trying to get it all back together. As spring rolled into Dryer's Island, Aliyah felt a new sense of dread and terror as the old curse that she had ran from returned to her. She went to work fearing what would happen, knowing that she couldn't remain here for long and had to begin to prepare. So she went to the far outskirts of town where she knew that um, gypsies lived who could possibly give her an antidote or a remedy for the upcoming ordeal. She hoped there would be something there to slow down the transformation that would come as night fell. But no one was working the gypsy camp and there's no one to sell her any kind of aid, so she had to face it all alone that night. And as it grew darker outside, she began to feel the change. Empowered by the moon, a new beast emerged, something furious and terrible, that went out to hunt in the night. Fortunately for us, all our roommates and friends were tucked away safely at home, out of harm's way, while the beast prowled hunting for treasures and food and whatever else it could get its claws into. It spent the night using its powers to summon a kind of cursed weather to even hunt better and it took all of Leah's time as she was completely controlled by the hunger for hunting and running wild like a wolf. It was only with the light of sunrise that she was able to overcome the transformation and return back to her normal self. Well, not without a great crash in energy and exhaustion, 
but you couldn't stop now because you have to go back to work and face another day. So we got ourselves together and headed back to give it our best shot and try to reach for our promotion. Even at our low, there was still some hope though. In her werewolf and crazed state, Leah had found some treasures to bring back to the house and gain some money with. So we could rest easy knowing we had something to fall back on, even with all the expenses we had before. She even now could finally cook without burning her house down. So after a day of rest, she went out with her friends to go enjoy the spring love festival for once. It was a pretty good time there. You got your Easter and all that, joined it. And it was my first time really getting to play the Love Day Festival, so I enjoyed that. Had them dance with um, Diana and even um, Jesus. And so she had a good time with her friends. But she quickly realized that even though she was enjoying herself, she was still lonely on a romance day, a holiday of all days. Well, she looked around, she saw another afro haired dude, but he wasn't really her type, he was a maid. And so. She asked Diana for some advice. Diana advised possibly trying out the games at the festival. So she gave it a shot to try the love machine and she even tried the kissing booth. And the guy there had some swag. He was like blonde haired and brown skin. Was, I guess tall, dark and handsome, whatever she liked. But she wasn't into marrying or getting into a relationship with a guy who kind of sold himself at festivals for his living. So she ditched him and went back to work. And just as you know, she finally got that promotion so she could Stop worrying about finances for a little bit anyway. Hey guys, this is Logan the Adventure, and I just wanted to say thank you very much for watching my video. Um, these are a few last minute details of my characters, and this is the town they're in. It's called Dryer's Island, and you can download it from EA Sims 3 um, Exchange. That's where I found it in the forums there. Just search D R Y E. R.S. Island and then here's Aaliyah in her apartment as you can see it here it's um late in the spring season um on the weekend we just got promoted to automated spell checker um, level two of the journalism career using Zerbu's ultimate careers mod so as you can see in the pictures I actually have to work the career it's like what I showed you before so um what we're gonna do now uh, see, I can't make these things because I don't have the actual ingredients. That's another Annie's mod. Maybe I should just list mods in the descriptions to make it easier for all of us. I think that's a good idea. And here's Diana. She's fast asleep. Um, I wanted to show you uh, Aaliyah, who I named after the singer Aaliyah. If she's around the 90s. She died in a plane crash, and recently it was her birthday. She would have been 35, so... I first introduced to that singer in the movie Romeo Almost Die with Jet Li, so I named my character, my Sims character after that, so let's see her traits. She has a good sense of humor, she's perfectionist, she's hot-headed, frugal, and supernatural skeptic, and she's actually a werewolf, so it's a funny combination. Um, Diana Yoon, who I kind of just, just wanted the whole Korean kind of vibe with her, I don't know if she's necessarily Korean, but we just whatever she's like supposed to be like kind of k-pop she's hopeless romantic computer whiz party animal star quality and neat and as i said she's always kind of stinky and recently um oh i got uh i got money for my blog but she more than impressively got to be named the spring dance queen or whatever that is and i was like good job for her well well done and that's this is our room right here um, just stereo that got fixed. Maybe we'll put a computer there too at the desk. And this is this is let's check out our housemates real quick. This is Jesus and his wife, girlfriend, whatever Tanya's um, apartment. It's kind of like the hangout place. They got a TV, um, a couch, and double bed like us, and more of a bar and a 
it's kind of hipster, I don't know, in a sense. Um, and I like visiting them and talking to them. See, we're not really close friends yet. We need to build up our charisma skill because we can really understand and get to know people. And Jesus works in the business career. He's a workaholic. He's brave. Equipment issues. Can't start art. And I don't know what else because it's blocked out. And Tanya, where's Tanya? Okay, she's in the shower. Tanya is artistic, heavy sleeper, family oriented, couch potato, and, and unlucky. And on the actually lowest level apartment, we have, well, I guess for some reason, Jesus is in her room. We have Mila Fioretti. Just kind of went for the whole Italian vibe with her. And so this is her place. I think we're going to actually come down here, do some writing later on because we got a contract. It says schools in Egypt need more foreign books um to encourage students to learn about other cultures they act if you can contribute one of your books so since we got our promotion and got our writing skill up to level four we're gonna write a book and we're gonna try to go to egypt and we're gonna get try to get that book done all in one weekend so we got a lot of work ahead of us um we want to get our social networking skill up and we need to cut some of those gems from our werewolf activities that we don't like to mention too much to outsiders. Nobody knows she's a werewolf around here. She just keeps it to herself. And I like playing werewolves because they live a little bit longer than everybody else. She has 15 more days and she's lived a while as a young adult so it just gives you a little bit more playing time. Now to have these roommates I created... Oh, Diana's getting up. Cool, cool. Take a shower girl. You kinda kinda ratchet, kinda ratchet. But yeah, to make these roommates like kind of non EA roommates. I'm using is Annie's kind of apartment or roommate apartment roommate mod that you can find on mod the Sims. So let's not burn this right here. It basically allows you to control the funds and may have just more realistic roommates a system. Rather than having the randomly gened EA roommates that just seem like they're constantly spamming into your house with filling up every empty space they can take. So I prefer this, and it's only for base games, so check it out. So thank you guys for spending some time with me as I show you all this um, Aaliyah. Hopefully, maybe we can find someone her, her to be interested in, in um, Egypt. Who knows, maybe she'll find someone behind, besides afro-haired dudes to really talk to or kind of kissing booth prostitutes, because neither one of those are really her interests. So... Thanks, guys. What was that? Uh, <laughs> all right, Diana, rock out. So, yeah, thanks, guys, and have a good day, night, wherever you are, and stay tuned for further updates.